All right, so today in math, we are going to talk about fractions beyond one whole. And so far, we've just been talking about fractions that were within the whole. So we've talked about them as little pieces of the whole. And now we're going to talk about, well, what if you have a fraction that is one whole or and even more than one whole? What do you do about it? So what I want you to do is on a whiteboard right now or piece of paper, you are going to look at these three fractions, four halves, five fourths, and four thirds. And I want you to draw me a picture of what you think that should look like. And you may use either a number line, if that helps, or you can use like an area model. That's when um, I make like the pizzas and the candy bars. Um, so those are the area models that I've been showing you lately. So if you could choose to do one of those two things, and I'm going to give you a few minutes here to draw those pictures out. Okay, so... I've been looking at a lot of different pictures, and some of the pictures I saw were like this. So I can tell you knew that it was four for the four, but I think you just weren't sure what to do about the two. And so you were a little confused. Um, so I find that when we look at the bottom number, we know that we're talking about how many pieces are in the whole. So I should see a picture like that if I'm talking about halves. But how do I get four halves? Well, I would need another picture with halves. And I would color in one, two, three, four. And that would be four halves. If you chose to do this on the number line, you would have had a number line with zero and one, Actually, our number line will keep going. And you would have had a half here. You'd have one half. This would have been two halves. And then you would have three halves. And then you would have four halves. So this would be three halves. And this would be four halves. So if you did a number line and got that, good for you. Is there another name for four halves? Well, there is. It also equals two wholes. So we'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit. So... Representing with a picture, you just really want to remember that the bottom number is how many pieces of the whole you have. So now I have fourths, and I have five of them. So I have to create another picture with fourths. And now I draw in one, two, three, four, five of them. And that would be my picture in fourths. Down here on my number line, I would have needed four parts to the whole. So I would have had one fourth here. So I have one, two, three, four parts to a whole. One, two, three, one, two, three, four parts to a whole. So I would have had one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. One whole is four fourths. And then five fourths. And it would have gone right there on the number line. So that was five fourths. Now, let's take a look at thirds. We have four thirds. Again, I gotta look at that bottom number to know how many pieces. I'm gonna do this with a pizza. I think it's just easier for me with thirds to show that peace sign. To have that, I'm gonna need another one because it's more than one whole. And I have four pieces, so I have one, two, three, four. Now, if I show that on a number line, I'm gonna put one right here, and I know zero's here, and I'm gonna put two here, and I need three pieces between zero and one, so one, two, three. I need three pieces between one and two. One, two, three. And now I've got one third here, two thirds here, one is three thirds, and then four thirds here. See, one, two, three, four, put my dot there. We're going to talk more about this in our lesson. So, 
put your whiteboards down on the floor or your piece of paper aside and now get ready to hear your lesson. So I'm going to get you to do a little thinking with me. What I just showed you right there might have felt really hard for some of you. But today I'm going to guide you through how to do this. So by the end of the lesson, you'll feel confident in doing what we just did at the beginning. So I want to show you a number line. And I have a number line zero here. And I'm going to put two over here. And I'm going to put one here. Now these are whole numbers. They're like whole pieces that haven't been cut yet. But now I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it here. And I'm going to ask you, what is fraction A? So what do you think fraction A is? Well, fraction A has got two parts. So I know two is my bottom number. And I move to one spot. So I know fraction A equals one half. But what about this fraction right here? It's one whole. Well, I know it's been cut into two parts. In a whole, the two numbers match. So it's 2 over 2. And now I want to go beyond 1. So I am going to make two parts again. So I still have a bottom number of 2. But what would C be? Right here, what would this be if this was C? Well, I'm hoping you're starting to see a pattern. Because we had one half here, and then we have two halves there, and now we have three halves. Can anybody guess what this will be? Well, two is four halves. So that is how that works.